You must have heard the term serial killer. Serial killers, while being some of the worst humans in existence that never fail to fascinate us. Jack the Ripper was a serial killer in London in the late 19th century. Jack was never caught by the cops and his identity remains unknown to this day. He was active in and around the district called Whitechapel in London. Well, when he was born, where he was born remains a mystery to us. There are so many theories about Jack the Ripper which are really interesting. So, let's have a look at what he did in those times and why he was never caught. Between August and November of 1888, five women were murdered and mutilated in the streets that make up Whitechapel at the east end of London, some having their throats slashed, their cheeks cut, and their organs removed. All the women were prostitutes and were in their 30s or 40s. Police were focused on people with certain occupations, given that removing a uterus is not something most people can do. So cops looked at butchers, surgeons, and generally anyone who might cut up bodies for a living, but found nothing. For the people, the case is much more mysterious and fearful. People also started saying that it's evil who has entered into their society and killed people like this. During that time, Jack's main target was low-reputed women. On the other hand, many people started saying that they knew about this mystery serial killer, and then they got a name called Ripperologists. Ripperologists was the term given to those who try to uncover the secrets behind the crimes of Jack the Ripper. But they were not the only ones who were obsessed with the gruesome details. There were actually over 700 pieces of mail sent to the media and the police from those claiming to be Jack the Ripper. Yes, you heard that right. Police got more than 700 emails. The cops also received some letters. Quite a few of them claimed to be written by Jack the Ripper. The most famous in them was the From Hell letter. Police believed this letter was the only one that was genuine. In the letter, it was written that the murderer sent half of the kidney he took from one woman's body with a bloody knife and challenged the cops to catch him if possible. Well, a conspiracy theory of Prince Albert Victor Christian is also famous. This aristocrat, the grandson of Queen Victoria, died in an asylum after syphilis had destroyed his mind. It's also said that he couldn't have done the wicked deeds as he wasn't in London at that time. But a lot of investigators believed it was Aaron Kosminski, as his mitochondrial DNA was found on one of the victim's shawls. In the late 19th century, some newspapers perpetuated the image so many of us associate today with Jack the Ripper, that of a well-dressed gentleman in a top hat and cloak. Most Ripperologists, on the other hand, agree that he was more likely a low-income, working-class individual. Well, Jack the Ripper is still a mystery, and nobody knows who he was, but we can assume that he must be a very sharp-minded human being of his time. That is all for this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Till then, take care.